In this Ellerton Associates Technology Training Tip of the Month, we will show you how to add totals to a SharePoint 2010 list or library. What I have here is a simple SharePoint list called Time Log, and what it's doing is tracking hours spent on various tasks. So we're collecting the title of the task, who submitted it, a category for the task, and the total hours dedicated to the task. So it would be nice with a list like this to be able to see certain totals performed on the list, such as a count of how many items are on the list. Or with a numeric field, there are a variety of calculations, such as summing or averaging, that I could have the list perform. So I'm going to create two totals on this list, one to sum the total number of hours, and one to count the number of items submitted to the list. I'm going to come up to the List tab and click it and I'm going to click the Modify View button. We're actually modifying the view of the data that we're looking at right now. So I'm going to click that. And there are a lot of options for modifying views. The one I need is down a little bit, so I'm going to scroll. And what I'm looking for is this Totals link. And if I click it, it'll expand. And it gives me all of the fields available in my list and the calculations I can potentially perform. So I could put calculations on all of the fields. I'm just going to focus on title and total hours. So for title, when I look at the available calculations, it's only count because title is not numeric and therefore I can only count how many of them there are. Total hours, however, is numeric. And so if I look at its available calculations, there are several. I'm going to choose some. So now I can either scroll to the very bottom or very top. The OK button is in either place. I'm going to click OK. And now when you look at my list, note under title, I have the count. It always appears at the top of the list. And then over here, just above the total hours, is the sum of those total hours. Now just to show you that they do update, let me add one more item. So we'll put in uh, taught a PowerPoint class. And we'll put that down in the category of live training and we'll say that that was a two hour class. And that will be added to the list and note the count of items now went up to eight and the sum of hours now went up to 21. So that's how you can add calculations to columns in either a list or a library in SharePoint. Thank you for watching this tip of the month. To learn more about our classes, please visit us at www.ellerttraining.com.